show you uh, this <laughs> tune that I wrote for the five string fill, exclusively for the five string fill. You have to play it on the five string because it goes all over the place, especially downwards. And I wrote it to play with my wonderful band Mr. Sun, but um, I've played it now with other people and it seems to work with other bands as well. And it's a really fun tune to play on the five string if you really want to show off your five. So let's get right to it. You um, may have listened to the performance, and here's the lesson. So we start on the low string. The tune itself is in D major, and we have a lot of D major bluegrassy licks. Uh, uh, but then they start down here on the lowest string, right? So we have a two note pickup. Right, so that is um, our first little gambit here, starting very low. So, um, yeah, it's kind of like playing an A. Nothing too uh, out of the ordinary there, except we're down here on the lowest string. So we have a two note pickup. One, two, three. So we have a nice little arpeggio lick. Right, and then that nice sweet D and F sharp. And then, uh, you know, I've worked a long time to get those things to work right. And uh, I'll probably need to work some more. <laughs> but there you have it. So far, so good. Uh, so the first two phrases. And then, and then we have more fancy arpeggios. Okay, we start on the A note. One more time. out of the ordinary there. Um, just, um, you know, some jumping around on the arpeggios, um, just making use of the wider range, the expanded range of the instrument. We start the second part with the same lick, and then we do a little different thing. So we're touching on all the, you know, the, the Cliches, all the D, the thing, great D things you can do with the instrument. Um, so it goes like this two note pickup. Right? So. Right? So we're just doing more of those. Fancy, um, you know, the, the, the arpeggios that we love so well in bluegrass. And then we go back and play the same second half to that. Keep 
track of all those string crossings. You got an extra string, you're crossing strings, you're doing all those extra things. But it's, um, you know, once you get it, it just lays really well. Uh, it, I couldn't play it if it, if it wasn't easy. So, okay. Um, so now we get into the B part. We go to a very standard bluegrass lick in G. And I do a little bit, it's more of a gesture, the little slide. Right? Uh, we could just go straight. But I, I'm doing it. Either way, I, I played it both ways. And then the, uh, the thing you might not expect is we go to an F sharp minor. Right, so it's the same lick, right? But in F sharp minor. And then we have a two note pickup. So it's, it's a little bit complicated, but it's not, not again, it's not difficult. Um, we have the pickup, and so the one is on the G note. Frisky enough to get a risk of double stop on that last lick. So, how does that whole part go? first part of that bridge. So I'm varying, I'm just turning it into a lick rather than um, a double stop. Let's see. That's not it. What is it? That's all it is. And I um, request that you put on your best Kenny Baker double, um, vibrato for all of this stuff because it really is, uh, the whole tune is really a tribute to Kenny Baker and I'm sure he would have written it had he gotten himself a five string fiddle. So yeah, it's, uh, none of this stuff would have been possible without Kenny. Um, okay, so we've got the first part of the second part. Then we start again, we repeat. A little variation. So, and then we start the same way, but we're going to an E7 chord because uh, this is the exciting part. We go to E7. So there's our kind of um, arpeggiated E lick, E7. Okay, so there's our shift. I shift on from the G sharp to the B because that's my strongest finger and I'm going fast. So instead of, right, I started doing that, and I realized a lot, some people can do that just as easily. And I, you know, if you feel more comfortable shifting there, do so. But for me, I'm liking the shift with my second finger, which is strong. It's a little bit more accurate. The hand goes to the same place anyway. You just whack up against the side of the instrument. That's how you know you're in third position. That's it. So. Here's the lick, two note pickup, one, two, three. Right, 
Yes, there's our shift. So if you want to get this down to the smallest practice pod. Okay, so the uh, bravura uh, <laughs> lick that utilizes you go from the top of the instrument or pretty close to the top. Not really all the way. Some people like to go up here. I don't like to. But uh, third position is good. Right. So let's look at that again. That uh, that giant lick. some point it just becomes a scale, right? Actually it's a scale in a lot of places. Right? Make sure you put that open A in there. Amazing fiddle scale. Ha! Huh, how'd that show up? I must have invited it. Okay, so we're almost at the end, right? We've done that fancy lick, and then we're in the last A part. So this tune is in key of D major, and it's got a 32 bar form. It's got an A part, a repeat of the A part, a B part, and then the A comes back in slightly different form because it's all freaked out because it just went through the B part, right? So here's the last part. Let's do that. Right? One more time. They're just jiggered around a little bit. And then the tag, uh, I'm going to have mercy on everybody. pretty much the whole thing. Uh, in the Mr. Sun Band, we do an intro which consists of the last A, the, just the first part of the last A part. So we go... And then we start. So let's go through this very slowly, the entire tune. Let's see if I can pull this off in one piece at this slow tempo. As many of you know, sometimes it's harder to play at a slow tempo because your mind starts wandering, and then you start thinking about where you left your car keys, and then, you know, it's Katie by the door after that. So let's see if I can keep my mind on it. Um, so with the intro, one, two, here we go.
you back. So here we go with the intro. One, two, here goes something. <laughs> Have a hat, fiddlers. 